All right, la gang, j'espère que vous êtes en forme. J'espère que vous êtes en feu. Puis là, je vous vois déjà aller loin. Ça va être un call en anglais. Hein? En anglais, en anglais, en anglais. Ce que je veux, la seule chose que vous voulez, vous allez voir, la présentation va être super rapide parce qu'on a juste 25 minutes. Okay? Ce que je vous demande, c'est la plus grosse énergie possible, mais surtout, il n'y a pas d'excuse ici. Okay? On a la chance d'avoir Brian James. Je ne sais pas si vous comprenez, là, mais Legend, c'est le plus haut rang à l'intérieur de Provit. Il l'a fait dès la première année dans Provit. OK? Présentement, les Kelly Rowling que vous regardez, les Kendra, les uh, Mandy Mitchell, uh, Mandy Mitchell, yeah. uh, les Sylvia, okay. plein de randis, des Legends. Okay. A, la majorité, je ne veux pas dire tout le monde, là, mais la majorité viennent de cette branche-là. C'est juste complètement, complètement, complètement fou. Okay. Donc, ce que j'ai envie de vous demander, c'est d'élever votre énergie, mais surtout d'élever, d'ouvrir vos oreilles, mais d'ouvrir moins vos oreilles que vous allez ouvrir votre cœur à l'énergie. Okay? Ce n'est pas important ce qu'il va dire, c'est l'énergie, puis c'est le message derrière. Si vous ne comprenez pas, good, c'est parfait, numéro un, vous écouterez la, repl la replay. Okay? Mais si vous voulez en comprendre encore plus, là, soyez juste là, ouvrez vos oreilles, puis ce n'est pas nécessaire de prendre des notes. Okay? Pour certaines personnes, on va en prendre, on va faire des récapitulatifs. Il n'y aura pas de période de de, de questions aujourd'hui, malheureusement, parce qu'on est serré dans le temps. Et si vous avez des questions ce soir dans le Team Call, probablement qu'on va pouvoir faire la suite, on va pouvoir continuer là-dessus. OK? Fine. So, so, Brian, I think my, my computer is a, is a little bit warm. Do you, do you see me? Tout le monde me voit? I do. I got you. But because it's very, very, very warm here and I'm outside. So I already uh, introduced yourself um, and uh, introduce you. And uh, we're pumped, I think, as a team uh, to all. We always want to to evolve. And I'm very, very, very excited about what you are going to tell us. And I'm I'm ready to take a ton of nuts. So I don't want to take too much time because we only have 23 minutes before the COCs. Um, so I will give you, I will throw you literally under the bus like that boom it's yours love it all right beautiful how are we doing everybody good i'm always a little bit intimidated when uh, mick starts speaking french okay because uh i know my spanish but this is this is a little timid so how do we say smile i gotta see everybody's teeth smile eh, eh, yeah beautiful love it so help me out here Sorry, so, so, yeah, all right, beautiful. All right, I'm gonna remember that. So awesome, well, I'm excited to be here with you guys. I just got off, so, and I'm telling you, Mick will tell you this, if you, who was on the last, who was on the Zoom for the last 35 minutes? Raise your hand if you're on the Zoom for the next 35, last 35 minutes. Okay, beautiful. Was it helpful? Was it helpful? Was it good? Okay, so goal number one, for you guys that are on here is to make sure you're on the next leadership zoom make sure that you are constantly um taking responsibility moving your business forward putting yourself in a position where you know you're in that right you're in that um you're in that association right and what's awesome is you know i know what's awesome is that mick understands that leadership is something that's not given It's beautiful. It's so important that leadership is not something that's given. It's something that's earned, right? And many of you, you could be taking the actions and the activity to be a leader now. And Mick, knowing who he is, he can identify people that are fast tracking into leadership. He can identify people that are taking responsibility, right? That are serving their teams, that are doing those things. And I promise you, he will make sure you get a special invite to these leadership zooms if you're if you're taking the action if you're doing the things doing the things that's required right to become a leader and to lead a team so first and foremost make sure you get in be behind those closed doors if you will uh so just a couple of things i want to talk about very simply um do me a favor raise your hand if you have at least one prudent customer you have a customer Okay, beautiful. Keep your hand raised if you have two customers. Three, four, five. Beautiful. Okay. Here's what's awesome. So you know what you're doing. Let me ask you this. Based on how many customers you have right now, how many would you like to have 10 times? So 10x. I know it makes a big 10x guy. 10x, 10 times the amount of customers you have right now. 
Okay. Who would like to have 10 times more customers than you have right now? Okay. Beautiful. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to help you understand how you can accomplish that. How you do that is you actually have to get more narrow, more focused. Okay. Because here's the thing. This is one of the things we talked about on the last Zoom is that when it comes to prove its products, like, listen, all of you, how many of you have experienced weight loss or fat loss from prove its keto from from prove it products yeah how would you say this let me see this in the and mick just do a little bit of translation for me in the chat i want to know your number one listen you may have like 10 different benefits you've got from this product you may have five different you may have three where you're like oh my gosh i can't choose between these three like three insanely powerful, life-changing results that you've got from Prove It's products. But you can only pick one. You can only pick one. What is it? Energy, focus. I'm reading the chat. Energy, focus. Energy, sleep. Sleep, focus, energy, energy. Beautiful. Okay. I have a challenge for you guys. You guys ready for a challenge? Okay. Here's the thing. Whatever that one thing is, whatever that one thing is that you put down for the next 30 days, that is the only one thing that you can post about or talk about on your social media, in your conversations in your chats, one, just one, you understand? Just one, this is important, just one. I want you to think about this for a second and you're like, well, Brian, I'm gonna miss out on the, I, hey, if I pick energy, I'm going to miss out on the one, the customer that, that has the benefit of sleep, or I'm going to miss out on the customer that wants muscle preservation, or I'm going to miss out on the customer that has, no, listen, this is important. If you want to grow faster, if you want to grow bigger, if you want to reach more people, you're going to need to get a more simple and more narrow focus. Just trust me. I am challenging you for the next 30 days to take your, because here's what, why am I making you pick one thing? Because that one thing is the thing that you have, that you're the most passionate about. You don't even second guess it. You understand what I'm saying? Like if you have three or four or five or 10 benefits, then you could say, Hey, well, there could be another product out there that does help me get better sleep. If it's like my fifth benefit, you know what I'm saying? But here's what I know. If I make you pick one, one, just one, the one thing for you that's like, this is the reason why if I never get paid again, or if, if, if prove it goes out of business tomorrow, I will go on eBay for the next five years and I will look for this product and I will pay however much money it is because of this one benefit, this one thing that I know hands down, it's absolutely the best at for me. This is important. Most people in business and in, in the moment somebody gets into what they think is sales, and by the way, uh, hopefully you're not selling this product because this product's too good to be sold. Hopefully you're not, because here's the thing. Has anyone done sales before? Anyone done sales? You, you've done a sales job or sales business, or you sold things on the side, or you've sold, is that, ever, is that anybody sold? The problem with selling, I think that right now, if you go online, there's over 90,000 classes on how to overcome objections in selling and how to um, complete a perfect sale and how to turn a no into a yes. The problem with that is, is it's a totally different mindset. All I want you guys to do is to change from overcoming no and overcoming objections to only finding yeses. I only want you to look for yeses. I don't want you to fight for no's.
I don't want you to fight with no's. There are so many people out there that are looking for more energy. But here's the thing. They may also be looking for more sleep. But here's the problem. If you promote energy and sleep, if you promote energy and fat loss, you immediately have taken away the simplicity and the singular focus that they need to make a commitment to you and the product. Do you don't understand what I'm saying? Uh, guys, if you get more than one choice, if you get more than one option, it is going to already in your mind, you're going to say, well, it must not be that good at both. Like, have you ever bought, have you ever seen a vehicle where it's like great on-road, but great off-road? It's like great for both. Do you know what that ultimately means? It's not excellent at either one. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's what people think. But back to my point, this is for, this is more specifically for you. You have to find your audience. We're looking for your audience because not only do I want you to pick the one benefit that all I want you to preach about and all I want you to talk about and all I want you to do and confess about, all I want you to do is speak about your experience with that one benefit over and over and over and over again with conviction. I want you to start using examples. So it's not only what you did, but oh my gosh, the energy. Listen, I've been struggling my whole life with energy. I would always crash. I would always try to do coffee. I would try to do the energy that I get. It's an energy that fills my body. It's an energy that fills my mind. It's, it's absolutely changed my freaking life. The energy. Do you see what I'm saying? You, uh, you feel I'm convicted in this? But it's also changed my sleep and it's helped in my muscle and it's done what I've done. And I did this and I did this. And no, no. Listen, we're getting someone to make a commitment based on one thing and one thing alone. And then what I say after this, ener the energy I got from this changed my life. Listen, oh my gosh. Then I gave it to my buddy, Mick. Mick's energy, listen, Mick was struggling. He was, he was literally at the end of his rope. He was getting fired from his job. He did he took this product and it absolutely changed. He has so much energy now that when he comes home from work, he was usually fried. He now plays for hours with his kids and then has fun with his wife at night. Like that's how much energy he gets from this product. Like, so I'm not only talking about the one benefit for myself, but I'm talking about it for everybody else. Now, listen, some of you guys are like, oh my God, I got on this Zoom for someone to tell me that Prove It product has energy. This isn't my point because this is the same thing that you're going to need to focus and do with your teams when you start building a team and prove it. Here's what we're trying to do. I spent, and let me give you a little context to why I'm speaking this way. I spent this last Friday with a multi, multi billionaire. I spent this last Friday with a gentleman that has started three companies, founded three companies that all went over a billion dollars. He is a multi, multi billionaire. His whole goal in life right now is helping entrepreneurs, is helping people break through. And here's what, here was his number one message is that if you want to become, if you want to have a big company, he said, listen, I know a whole bunch of people that start companies that they make millions of dollars, even hundreds of millions of dollars. But he said, listen, if you want to grow huge, massive. And here's the thing. Does anyone want to grow huge in the proven business? Like you want your proven business. You want to be the biggest proven business in all of Canada In all of the freaking United States, Canada, the world of prove it. You want to have the biggest proven business. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help you do that. You have to stay simple and you have to stay focused. Stop trying to be everything to everyone because here's the thing. It's honestly, it's a lot of scarcity mindset. And I get it. We talked about this before. Prove it's benefit. Like the, the, the benefits of ketones are absolutely incredible. But the thing is, is if we want people to experience all of the insanely amazing benefits of ketones, you have to first get them to commit to something somewhere first. And you want to target a place, a person right? That's like you. Because not only do I want you to focus on one, but then I want you to take it a step further. 
who are you? Who do you personally identify with? Like, what's your, what's your, what's your everyday? Are you like single mom into yoga and doing whatever? Are you like outdoorsy person? Are you what, like, I then want you to define like who you are and what you like. Who you are and what you like. Because here's what I know. If you'll focus on who you are and what you're like, you're the best you at being you. You're the best you at you being you. Stop trying to be somebody else because here's the problem. So so the only people I see get in, prove it. They're like out of shape. They are not confident. Like they got a certain result. Maybe it was their energy. Maybe they lost some weight. And they're immediately trying to go out and get a bodybuilder, some bodybuilder to get in there. This guy doesn't believe me and he doesn't blah, blah, blah. And he's, he's challenging everything I'm saying. What the hell are you doing? Are you there trying to go out and get a runner or some like person that is, the problem is, is they have no confidence in that area. They have no authenticity in that area. Here's my point. Is that if you're a single mom that loves yoga and loves to take freaking, you know, hikes then guess what? What is the one benefit you got from Prove's products? What's the one benefit you got from ketones? And who is the one audience that you're going to speak to? Here's what's crazy. You will have confidence in that one benefit that you got. And then you'll have even double down more confidence because you're speaking to a similar, uh, a, a, a similar, relatable audience. And here's what's funny. Here's what's crazy. If you're like strong and powerful and confident to another single mom, here's what's crazy. Their husband or their friend that's a bodybuilder, they see your confidence to that person and they may say, hey, I I saw that product. I saw it. But you didn't, what I'm saying is you targeted what you're good at. You targeted your gold medal attribute. You, You targeted your personal audience, your narrow audience, and you're confident about it. You don't, you understand what I'm saying? So when you get out on social media and you get out, you know, to, to have this message, I want you to stick with one benefit and I want you to focus on one audience. Here's what's funny. When you start doing this, you're going to start getting a whole bunch of other people coming because maybe you got so passionate and so focused and so whatever, and you're getting more and more customers that are coming to get energy with ketones. They're they're coming to you to get energy. They're coming to you to get energy. But oh, by the way, the fifth person that came, they get the best sleep they've ever had in their entire life. And then you know what you tell them? I want you to go and this is the one thing that is the most powerful benefit for you. And I want you to go tell your audience that sleep is the number one thing. Well, Brian, I took this product or I was attracted to this product because of energy. That's fantastic. But guess what? The one benefit that you get now more than anything is sleep. Guys, do you know how many people out there in your in your social media world? If you do a, I think right now, if you look at sleep aid products, it's like one of the top five wellness selling products in the world is sleep products. But if you go out and you just mention ketones, one of the benefits of ketones is being sleep. Then you're missing every, you're, you're, you're trying to be everything to everyone, right? And you're missing everyone. You're missing making a quality connection with anyone over any one, you know, thing. Is this make sense to anybody? Anybody make sense? Does it make sense to? Beautiful. So stop trying to overcome people's nose and understand there are so many people out there that are looking for that one benefit that you want to speak to, that one benefit that you got. And here's what's funny. And that's what I love about this business is what I love. Like, this is the same thing as you growing and expanding a team. Like, you may attract somebody on one conversation and that conversation, right? So I want you to think about this. You're a single mom 
And all you're talking about is energy, energy, energy. And you're focusing on other single moms, but you have this random other person. You get this married guy that's in his late, you know, maybe it's the mom, it's the dad of a single mom. Check this out. You have a single mom, right? Because you're talking to other single moms or your moms or whatever, right? Moms, right? Moms, period. Doesn't have to be single mom, but mom, whatever. And you're talking and you're focusing on energy for moms. And then that, that person, that mom, gives it to their dad and their dad experiences maybe it's energy maybe it's sleep maybe it's muscle maybe it's whatever but then he's ambitious and he gets excited and he realizes that hey you know what prove it as an opportunity for me to go build this is whatever and he goes out and he sticks to his audience so now you now have a promoter group you have promoters that came out of your promotion of the product that are a whole bunch of moms. You have a whole moms group, but now you have the dad of one of the moms that listen, he ain't gonna hang around a bunch of moms. He's, he's an older group. He's gonna start going and growing his own audience in his own group with other guys of his age, similar that have, but now we can all be under the same umbrella doing the same thing, right? All on the journey to the same goal, but we all have different, what I call gold medal attributes. Like all of you are really good at one thing. That's a beautiful thing about a team, right? And as you start building and growing a team, you can start using that team to say, hey, listen, it's so easy to promote stuff for me. Like, like listen, if I speak to anyone, if, I, if I'm traveling through Canada or I've got someone interested in the business that's in Canada or whatever, you know what the first message that I send is to Mick. Mick, I've done it many times trying to connect people with Mick multiple times. I also have people on my team that um, they're, they're older, they're different, they're a different dynamic than me. And I want their success story and they're maybe not going to relate to me. So I use their, I, I'm like, hey, you know, can you tell them the benefit that you got with ketones? I'm basically using my team to what's called match the hatch. I know Abigail's done training on this, match the hatch, match the common ground with another person that is like they are, because that's what most people want to know. I have somebody that's like me that's doing this and therefore I can do it too. Okay. So I've got three minutes. So the focus is what? The focus is keeping things simple. And guys, I'm not going to leave you hanging here because here's what I want to do. I want to get back with you guys in at least two weeks and find out what type of results you're getting from having a single-minded focus, from getting good. And some of you, this will just be more of an exercise. You're like, some of you are gonna get really, really, really good over this next 30 days because I have you focused on just talking about one thing and I have you focusing on just one group of people. And you're gonna get really confident and you're gonna get really good at that conversation. And you're gonna get a lot of traction coming to you. And hey, at the end of 30 days, maybe you decide to have a different conversation or do whatever. But this one thing, by getting focused and keeping things simple, is going to get you more traction than you've ever gotten in your business to this point. And that's all I want you to do. That's all I want you to do. And then Mick is going to give you a goal that you can try to hit every single week where, hey, listen, if I talk about this one benefit to this one group of people, then Mick, what is my goal? Maybe it's two, maybe it's three, maybe two. Out of focusing on those, those audiences and this one benefit, can I get two people a week to watch the campfire video and get them a sample of the product? Just two people a week. Because if I get two people a week for the next 30 days, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight people. But that's eight people that now have the that now have the opportunity to share that conversation with someone else. Or that's eight people that now have the ability to offer a business opportunity to someone else. Like there's so much more. I want you to guys to think about, stop thinking about 100 customers with a five-star ranking and start thinking about how can I get just 10 customers with a 10-star. I want 10 customers that literally get prove it tattoos because they effing love the product and they love the company so much. 
Because if you have 10 customers or you have 10 promoters that are that fired up, that are 10 out of 10, you guys will go to a thousand almost overnight. Like stop trying to be everything to everyone and start getting focused. I just want three insanely fired up customers, not 10 customers that are on and off that I have to convince to use the product that I have to show the new flavors that I got to whatever. Because you can start building quality relationships because at the end of the day, this is the last thing I'll say because my time is up. Simplest, simplistically, this business comes down to two things. And here's what's funny. It's the two topics that I gave Mick for his leadership Zoom and this Zoom. It's number one relationships and number two leadership. You create relationships with customers and promoters. And then as you get more customers and promoters, you are going to have more responsibility, which is going to require you to lead that response. You have to lead that responsibility. And that's it. That's the business. This business is relationships and leadership. That's it. There's nothing else to it. Whether you're a TikToker, whether you're an in-person person, whether you're, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it's relationships and it's leadership. That's it. I got to go. I love that. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. We see you. We see you in. Uh, I see you in your uh, other Zoom okay. now. <laughs> so, you guys, um, thank you. La gang. Uh, J'espère que vous l'avez apprécié. J'espère vraiment que vous l'avez apprécié um, parce que c'est vraiment une, une chance de pouvoir l'avoir comme ça. Que vous compreniez l'anglais ou que vous compreniez pas l'anglais. Honnêtement, on s'en fout. C'est pas le point. Okay. Devenez meilleur en anglais si vous voulez comprendre plus. Mais encore une fois, c'est c'est extreme ownership. Pourquoi vous n'êtes pas suffisamment outillé en anglais? C'est parce que vous ne l'avez pas pratiqué. Okay? Donc aujourd'hui, si c'est ça pour vous, ben vous avez pratiqué votre anglais. Félicitations. Okay? Si pour vous, vous comprenez à la perfection, ben j'espère que vous avez eu beaucoup de golden nuggets. J'espère que vous avez pris beaucoup de notes. Okay? Donc je vais, je vais juste faire comme un, un petit mini, 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 mini recap. Mais Emily et Camille, on va, on va aller se connecter dans l'autre. Puis c'est Chantal qui va prendre le lead direct, direct après. Je vais juste vous dire, c'est pas à tous les jours que vous allez avoir la chance d'avoir des personnes comme ça qui bâtissent des 5, des 6, des 7, des 8 millions par mois. OK? C'est extrêmement rare comme ça. Puis je sais qu'il a apprécié l'énergie. Puis il était vraiment en feu aujourd'hui. Il était vraiment super, comme super keep it simple. Puis vous réalisez peut-être pas mais ce genre de call-là, là, si vous écoutez et si vous faites ce qu'il vient de vous dire, ça change une business de manière drastique. Okay. Je ne crois pas au, à la chance, je ne crois pas que n'importe quoi dans la vie puisse comme revirer là, super rapidement, puis ci, puis ça. Mais la stratégie derrière tout ça, c'est l'implantation. Si vous l'implantez, puis si vous le, vous le remettez dans la tête, puis c'est drôle parce que je trouve, tu sais, Chantal, on a, on a eu un. On, Hier, on s'est parlé, puis on dirait que ce qu'il a dit, c'est <rire> on dirait que c'est exactement ce que je t'ai dit hier. C'est juste comme, je, 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 je l'écoutais parler, puis j'étais comme, what the fuck? OK, ça, ça va bien. Ma euh, tête est à la bonne endroit, mais au cours des prochains jours, au cours des prochaines semaines aussi, on va, on va avoir la chance de le, de le réavoir avec nous. Puis je vais aussi lui demander du coaching personnel parce que, OK, on a réussi à faire peut-être 600, 700 000 de ventes dans un mois. Mais il a réussi à faire 10 fois plus. Ça fait qu'il a dit le 10 times. Je serais curieux de savoir combien de clients il y a, mais probablement qu'il y a à peu près 200 000 clients pour avoir réussi à faire 10 times, 10 fois plus que ce qu'on fait. Je le dis toujours, j'ai échoué lamentablement parce que dès le jour 1, une des premières personnes à qui j'ai dit que j'allais être legend, c'est Brian James. Donc, j'ai encore une fois, j'ai échoué de manière lamentable. Mais regardez où ce qu'on en est présentement. Est-ce que ça sonne comme un échec? Je ne crois pas. OK, je ne crois pas. Donc, c'est en grande partie à cause de Brian James. La première chose qu'il m'a dit, il m'a dit, remplis un autobus, Mick, puis même si tu ne sais pas comment remplir l'autobus, on va venir, puis on va la conduire à ta place. Bon, finalement, il n'est jamais venu la conduire à ma place parce que finalement, j'ai conduit ma propre autobus. Mais le point, je pense que vous, vous arrêtez d'avoir peur de, de remplir un autobus, même si vous ne savez pas quoi faire avec. C'est normal que vous ne vous savez pas quoi faire avec parce que vous ne l'avez jamais fait. Mais si si vous ne la remplissez pas l'autobus, vous n'aurez jamais l'occasion de découvrir qui vous êtes réellement. Puis si vous n'avez pas la force de le faire, comme à certains moments, je n'ai pas eu la force de le faire, il y a quelqu'un d'autre qui m'a aidé, qui a soit rentré une destination dans mon GPS ou soit pendant que, que je faisais un petit power nap de, de 15 minutes, ben, il a pris le volant et il a conduit un petit peu à ma place. Okay? Mais si vous ne la remplissez jamais, cet autobus-là, je vous le dis, vous ne vous découvrirez jamais. Donc, première chose, bâtir des relations. Deuxième chose, vous allez prendre plus de responsabilités 
Et ça, c'est du leadership. Donc, je vous laisse avec, je vous laisse avec Chantal. Je garde l'enregistrement. Chantal, je vais te mettre vraiment host, host, là, euh, comme ça ici, parce que qu'on est déjà en retard pour le prochain meeting. J'espère que vous avez réellement apprécié, puis j'espère que vous avez pris des notes, puis j'espère que vous continuez ici, puis vous poserez des questions euh, aussi à, à Chantal. Puis je sais que Chantal, là-dessus, elle a quand même des bonnes, des, des très bonnes notions. Puis comme on a eu des calls dernièrement, bien, je pense qu'elle est super bien qualifiée pour répondre à vos questions également. Alors, fait que, euh, voilà, 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 voilà la gang. On se reparle ce soir, 21h. J'espère que vous allez tous être là. Et euh, it's a wrap, it's a wrap. Je vous laisse avec Chantal. Ciao, la gang. Bon, ben merci, Amic. Fait que euh, je ne sais pas si vous avez tous bien compris euh, ce que Brian y a dit, mais si je peux le simplifier, en fait, c'est vraiment... Souvent, on fait des, des stories, on fait des posts, on fait des choses où est-ce qu'on énumère beaucoup de bénéfices. Les rages de sucre, l'énergie, la clarté mentale, la perte de poids, la préservation de la masse musculaire. Puis là, tu bombardes tout le monde. Mais quand tu essaies d'être tout, tu n'es rien. Fait Au lieu, c'est de revenir à la base. Commence avec ton « number one benefit ». Fait que là, de vraiment là, te poser la, la question à dire, c'est quoi ton numéro un? Que toi, là, quand tu as commencé à prendre des quittons, que tu as ressenti. Et là, c'est là que tu vas parler de ça pendant 30 jours. Parce qu'imagine, si tu parles tout le temps de tout et de rien, tu n'accroches pas les gens. Puis, tu poses à différents jours, tu en mets ça tous les jours ou pas, ou peu importe, tu n'auras pas ton auditoire niche. Imagine si tu parles toujours de ton numéro un, qui est ton bénéfice, pendant 30 jours, comment que tu vas aller chercher ton auditoire? Et qu'est-ce que tu veux? C'est vraiment bâtir des relations avec ces gens-là. Est-ce que tu veux juste quelqu'un qui essaie des quittons pour essayer des quittons puis ils te disent après ça, après le 10 jours, ça ne mâche pas tes quittons puis tu as mis du temps et de l'énergie pour rien? Tu es mieux d'en avoir moins. Less some time, it's better. Fait que tu vas aller focuser avec ceux qui veulent vraiment travailler, avec qui vous allez partager le même bénéfice. Mais si ces gens-là que vous embarquez avec vous ont la certitude du produit, qu'ils le vivent à 200 ils ont aussi leur bénéfice, Qu'est-ce que ça va faire? Des mini-toits. Quand on parle de répliquer, que le système est super simple, c'est ce que ça va créer dans ta business à toi. Puis ces gens-là, ils vont avoir la certitude envers Prove It, envers le produit, ils vont avoir des smart chips et tout va être si simple. Fait Au lieu d'être tout et rien, focuser à être une chose. Puis, c'est la force de l'équipe. Puis, de, je dirais aussi d'ajouter des partages. Ajouter des partages d'autres de, de, euh, qui ont reçu des quittons. Euh, tu sais, souvent, des fois, on a dit euh, des, 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 des tips, comme je pourrais dire en anglais, des, des outils. Quand les gens là, ils ont reçu leur boîte, vous avez envoyé le challenge du jour, dites au lieu de dire « écris-moi », dis « tag-moi » quand tu as reçu ta boîte. « Hey, tu l'as reçu, tag moi. » Ça va créer aussi de, de l'excitation dans, dans tes réseaux. Ça va faire différent. Puis après ça, que tu ailles revoir la personne que tu, quand tu fais tes suivis au fil du 10 jours, « Hey, c'est quoi ton numéro un bénéfice? » Puis qui dit la même... Tu as le droit de dire, « Hey, telle personne, son bénéfice après X jours a été ça aussi, qui est le même que toi. » Fait que là, tu sais, d'autres gens où est-ce que tu peux aller utiliser la même chose de différentes façons. Puis, un autre point hyper important, moi, je le sais que c'est qu'on doit le faire plus dans mon équipe, puis même pour moi aussi de le faire avec mes mentors. Mais Brian James, c'est une légende dans Prove It. Et il l'utilise, Mick, pour aller chercher de la certitude avec son client. Il va utiliser d'autres membres de son équipe parce que son histoire ne colle pas avec la personne qui parle. Arrêtez d'être tout le monde, de vouloir être tout le monde aussi. Tu ne peux pas atteindre tout le monde. Donc, de vouloir utiliser quelqu'un d'autre dans ton équipe 
ton mentor d'ouvrir des conversations à trois parce que cette personne-là, c'est peut-être ça son numéro un bénéfice. Définitivement, moi, avec mon équipe, ce que je vais faire, c'est que je vais vouloir qu'on se le partage, c'est quoi notre bienfait numéro un pour qu'on puisse utiliser ça quand il y a d'autres gens qui, qui eux, qu'est-ce qu'ils recherchent, c'est ça. Parce que tu as envoyé le feu de camp déjà, parce que tu as déjà demandé à la personne qu'est-ce qui l'interpelle dans le vidéo, c'est quoi qu'il recherche la personne, puis là, tu vas aller la coller avec l'histoire de quelqu'un d'autre. Ce n'est pas la tienne. Arrête d'être tout. Toi, reste dans ta niche. Fait que si tu restes dans ta niche, tu vas grandir. C'est peut-être plus spécifique au début, mais après ça, tu vas tellement plus élargir puis avec une certaine certitude dans ce que tu propages, dans qu ce qui est pour toi, tu vas, ça va être incroyable au niveau de ta business. Euh, puis sinon, il disait de deux personnes, de simplifier les choses. Fait que, envoie, imagine à deux personnes qui sont niches ton vidéo du feu de camp par semaine. Est-ce que c'est simple? Est-ce qu'on est capable de faire ça, guys? Bon, mais c'est tout ce qu'on a à faire. Envoie deux feux de camp. Ouvre des conversations, envoie deux feux de camp, demande c'est quoi leur bienfait, coller avec la personne qui a le même bienfait que cette personne-là et ça va se faire tout seul. Et que, je, écoute, moi, j'ai eu beaucoup de golden nuggets là-dedans. Euh, je ne sais pas pour vous, euh, mais sinon, je vais, je vais arrêter l'enregistrement puis qu'on puisse partager quest ce que vous, vous avez aussi à, à ajouter ou à partager. Quelles sont les actions que vous allez entreprendre dès maintenant? Parce que dans le fond, Brian, il, il, il est willing, comme je pourrais dire, de revenir. Mais il veut savoir qu'est-ce qu'on va avoir fait avec qu ce qu'il vient de nous donner. Lui est au top de la pyramide. Là. Il nous a donné des cues pour comment y arriver. Qu'est-ce que lui fait pour être au top de la pyramide? Mais s'il revient, qu'est-ce qu'il nous a dit? On ne l'a pas appliqué. Ben, c'est sûr. Pas sûr qu'il va vouloir venir. Ben, ben, souvent, sinon. Fait on regarde ça simple. Puis, deux personnes, feu de camp, un bénéfice. That's it, that's all. On crush notre business. Et que sinon, je vais aller arrêter l'enregistrement et je vais prendre vos partages.